guys and welcome back to my channel. As you may be able to tell by the echoey room, I have moved house. Oh my god, I do, is this gonna be annoying? We're gonna, we're gonna change, we're gonna change location. As I was saying, I have moved house. Um, welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, so you, you may have noticed I haven't really uploaded consistently this year at all. Let's be honest, I haven't really uploaded consistently. Are you too far away? Hang on, let's, let's zoom you in. Um, but yeah, as you may have noticed, I haven't really uploaded consistently this year or last year, to be honest. And I kind of wanted to address it a little bit. So basically, um, if you've been following my channel for a long time, um, I, I used to live with my previous partner and then we broke up and moved back home with my parents. And sort of me moving back home, I think, is where you can sort of pinpoint me filming less. Um, mainly because I just... I had a lot of stuff which I was used to furnishing one bedroom flat whereas now I was just confined to one bedroom so I, I felt less comfortable filming in my parents house and yeah I don't know I just got I got out of the habit of doing it but it's something that I really do want to do now that I'm back in my own sort of space um so welcome this is my my living room area hope you feel comfortable um but yeah so I thought I would do a favorites video I haven't done one of these in a couple of months so I thought I would do my current favorites and seeing as I've moved house um, I haven't got all of my beauty stuff with me, so I thought that um, I would kind of talk about the stuff that I've obviously been using and I have liked enough to have with me whilst I'm sort of transitioning um, from house to house. So I've got a few little bits and bobs. It is predominantly makeup, but there is a couple bits of skincare. And I will put the disclaimer out there that a lot of it, not a lot of it, some of it is beauty pie, which I realise is something that I've been speaking about a lot on this channel, but it's one of those things that because I have a beauty pie, I mean the business model works because I have a beauty pie subscription, I'm buying stuff from the, the site. So yeah, so I thought I'd talk about a few things that I've been loving and I've put a few of them on my face, you know the drill. Shall we start with skincare? They're both from the same range um, and they're from the Japan Fusion range from Beauty Pie, as I mentioned there was going to be some Beauty Pie products. Um, yeah, both of these are from their Japan Fusion range, so this is the uh, step number two deep treatment serum and I'm still very much on the ordinary hype, I still love the ordinary, I'm still using their products. But the reason why I bought this was because sometimes you can be bothered to put four different serums on your face, you just want one and sometimes I'm just lazy with my skincare and I find sort of the idea if I'm like shattered the idea to then put on like this 10 step skin 10 tep this 10 step skincare routine um sometimes you know you just can't be bothered i will link down below my skincare routine if you haven't watched that video a lot of the products are still the same um but yeah so this is a product which i like to put on both when i can't be bothered um quite frankly and also in the morning so it works really nice under makeup i find it makes your skin nice and soft and i kind of use it as a primer but um i'm typically really bad at using skincare in the morning so this something like this is actually really handy um i've actually i don't know why i didn't start with this because this i think is step number one it's their cleanser i think i have also mentioned their sort of like toning milk stuff again i think i've mentioned that in favorites before still loving that um, but this cleanser is very similar to the Glossier Milky Jellies cleanser, except it's a little bit more milky than jelly. It is still like a jelly cleanser, but if you were to differentiate the two, I would say this has like a little bit more of a creamy texture to it than the Glossier. Um, it's also cheaper as well. Um, and I've been really enjoying it. It really does like break down makeup and it leaves your skin feeling super duper soft afterwards. So um, I feel like these do go quite well together um, in sort of like softening your skin and sort of making it all sort of nice and ready for makeup. This is, I don't use this in the morning, I use this uh, at evening when I'm taking my makeup off. I use it to take my makeup off. Um, I do also use Bioderma as well, and I still like to go over with sort of my set of water as well. But, but yeah, if you have a beauty pie subscription, these two products are amazing. Actually, let's, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going with the beauty pie theme. So this here is the, um, the newest sort of skin complexion product. Uh, this is their Sheer Tinted Oil Free SPF 20. I use the colour Fair. Um, basically, why do I always throw stuff around? I'm back in the game, baby. If I'm throwing my products around, I'm back in the game. Um, this is um, basically their version of a tinted moisturiser. And if you guys have ever used the Laura Mercier Oil Free tinted moisturiser, which I'm fairly certain is £35, this is a dupe for it. So if you like that formula and you want something that's a little bit more friendly for your wallet, um, this is definitely something that I would recommend. It's what I've got on my face right now. I did film in my bedroom me putting on a few of the products, so you've probably seen a few 
cutaways already. But yeah, this is fantastic um, if you like a light base. I do also really like their Great Skin Foundation, um, but that I would say is more of a medium coverage buildable foundation, whereas this is definitely a tinted moisturiser. I think they have less shades in this, but the coverage is a little bit less sheer. A little bit less sheer is a little bit more sheer. So depending on what you're after, this I think is really cool and I like using this every day. I apply it with my hands and it blends really nicely. It's sort of like really fuss free and easy to use and I like the coverage that it gives me. It sort of says um, soft focus finish, I'd agree with that. I think it is just sort of like a nice base and particularly because I do use two concealers under my eyes, like I find for the rest of my skin, it's sort of like, yeah, it just eaves it out. It does what you want in a tinted moisturizer and I would recommend to a friend. Again, sticking with the complexion products, I've got something that I returned to. So I'm definitely a bit more of a convert to the loose powder game and using that on my face rather than a pressed powder. Again, because I guess I'm preferring a lighter base these days. Well, not necessarily a lighter base these days, but I, I, I like less, a less of a powdery look on my face. So I, I, I do enjoy a good loose powder. And one that I bought initially and wasn't too impressed with was Wilder by Glossier. Um, I use the colour light medium in this, I believe this only comes in three shades and I just wasn't all that impressed with it, again I feel like it had too much of a powdery look on the face and sort of from Glossier that's not something that you really expect because they're kind of very much about the glossy look if you know what I mean. So basically I left my makeup bag at my boyfriend's house about six weeks ago for like a week I left it at his house so I sort of had to make up a secondary makeup bag and this was something that I pulled out and I was like hey I'll give this another go um, but because I left my makeup bag there I also left my brushes so I had to use a different powder brush now this is by Sonia Kashuk I believe this was a limited edition line um I got this in the states years ago but it's just this sort of very fluffy duo fiber circular brush um I'm certain you can get other brush brands would do something very similar to this. It is not that densely packed at all. And do you know what? I feel like there's always very much just like densely packed brushes are the best brushes, they're the ones that definitely pack on the most coverage, but actually I think these two are a match made in heaven. They're just a sort of a really light brush that doesn't pick up loads and loads of product. It helps you set your makeup without having excess product and just these two together. Um, you can't really detect the powder on your face, it just sort of sets it. It does bring down the shine a little bit if you do have some, but it doesn't sort of completely mattify your face or completely make you look flat. And yes, these two together, now that I do have all my makeup back, I mean now I don't because I've moved house, but you know what I mean. Um, now that I have my main makeup bag back, I use this combination. So yeah, team sparsely packed is where I'm at at the moment. Oh, excuse me. I'm definitely feeling all the skin products at the moment. This is by NYX. Um, I now don't really do my makeup without setting spray hang on. I just realized as soon as I said that, that I haven't put any setting spray on today. There we go. Um, but setting spray I think is honestly like one of the most boring makeup products that you can have. Like it's one of those things that I, you know, I don't want to spend lots of money on it. And don't get me wrong, the Urban Decay sprays, they're brilliant. I've tried lots of like really great high-end ones, but because I use them, you know, daily and I go through them so much, like to be honest, I can't be bothered to to spend an arm and a leg on a product that it just doesn't seem that fun to me. Like the certain sprays aren't that fun. You know, they're not a lipstick and they're not an eyeshadow palette, and it's just something that I always sort of go, I need to buy another bottle. Anyway, so this one's by NYX. So NYX is a brand that you can get in boots, and I believe this one's six pounds. This is the matte finish. Uh, spray, I wouldn't say it makes your face flat matte at all, I just think, I haven't tried, they have a dewy finish one, which I haven't tried, but I imagine it has glitter in it due to the price point, and so I'm just like, I'm not going to deal with that one, but the matte finish one, again, it doesn't make it flat matte or anything, it just sort of really sets the makeup and works really well, so if you are after sort of a more budget friendly setting spray, this is one I'd recommend, and also with setting sprays, I think I've mentioned this before, I just, I hate when setting sprays, again, like, I know it's like value for money, they come in these really cumbersome bottles, and I'm just like, that's just taking up like half of my makeup bag, particularly if you have like brushes in there and stuff as well, like, makeup bag space is valuable. So um, I like that this bottle's sort of like nice and petite, um, and it's 60 millilitres, so it is sort of like nice and slender and compact, um, so it doesn't take up too much space, but also has a nice enough mist on it. Um, but yeah, I would recommend this one, definitely, good value for money. And last but not least on the makeup front, I wanted to talk about the lip colour that I have on. Again, as I mentioned, you know, I haven't had that much of my stash on me and I have had a few sort of um, events 
would you call them that? Uh, <laughs> I've had a few like going out dues, like leaving dues and stuff that I've had to go to, particularly from after work. And if I want to give you my best beauty tip, I'm sorry, my hair is not cute today and I apologize. Um, if I want to give you any sort of tip for sort of desk to disco, it, chuck a red lip on. If you put a red lipstick on, maybe blot your face down, red lipstick, everyone thinks you've made a, a massive effort and you haven't, you've just been, you know, slaving away all day. But then chuck this on. So this here is the Fenty Starlit Paint in the color Uncensored. The idea behind the Fenty lip paints is that they sort of work for everyone. So this is red, as you can see. So it's a red that's supposed to work on everybody's skin tone. And from what I've heard, it definitely does. I do really like the formula of this. And um, what I will say is, I know that there was a lot of, I suppose, controversy around the applicator. Again, if, if you're used to applying liquid lipsticks, I think both the sort of fluidity of the product itself, because this is very watery, um, like sort of if you wanna, you know, sometimes you get sort of more of a whipped texture, more of a thick texture. This is definitely a lot thinner than some other liquid lipsticks that I've tried. And also because the applicator is so rounded, which I find really interesting because Rihanna has like very like point, like a very pointy Cupid's bow. So I, I thought it was a really interesting choice because the sort of face of the company has sort of like lips, which I don't know who would necessarily work with this, but you can use a lip brush if you want to. And um, I'm massively off track. <laughs> I, yeah, I really like the color of this and I think it's really comfortable. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't, I don't think this is necessarily like the, I mean, it looks cool. My mum thought it was a nail polish. I, I don't think necessarily the packaging is built for beginners, but you know, again, there are ways around that. Um, but because I have applied many a lipstick in my time, I don't necessarily struggle with it, but I can definitely see how people could. Um, but yeah, no, I really do like the formula of this. It sort of stays on. Um, I wore this for a night out. Um, literally after I finished work, I like just shoved a red lip on it. I was like, oh, you look nice. I'm like, literally all I've done, shut this on. That is it. And I went out drinking and it stayed on fine. I didn't have to top it up at all. Um, I have eaten this in this and it stayed on. So it's definitely something that um, has a lot of staying power, but doesn't compromise on comfortability. Comfortability? Comfortableness? It doesn't compromise on how comfortable it is. Um, I put this on, I don't know, about 20 minutes ago um, for this video. And it's sort of, yeah, like you just can't really feel it. Like there's some like liquid lipsticks that are really sort of thick. Whereas this one, yeah, I do know something's on my lips, but it's not bothering me at all really. So, and it doesn't come off or anything. And even if it does sort of start to fade, it layers quite nicely as well. So um, I'm definitely gonna be buying the mauve version of this, I think. That will definitely be uh, a wise purchase. I realised that I have forgotten something. I've got a hair favourite, so give me two seconds. I feel like this is like coming out way too much on the sides. Give me two seconds. And she's back. Ugh. And last but not least for the product front, I actually have a hair dye. Now I don't know if you would notice because usually how I used to film my videos, if I had my hair down, you couldn't sort of see past here. So you may not necessarily be able to tell or know, but um, I have actually dyed my hair, but the ends back. So I used to have sort of like a dip dye sort of situation. And the reason I wanted to get rid of it was because it very much, because I'd done it for so long, it was very much brown, blonde. And I wanted sort of like a little bit more of a gradient. What's interesting is when I started, um, when I turned my camera on in my bedroom, like I could still slightly see a difference, but actually in person, I don't think it looks all sort of one color. I think at least anyway. Um, but actually I bought two boxes of drive, I only needed the one. Um, what I'm talking about is the Josh Wood color. I've used the color 6.0, which is darkest blonde. Now I am many things, but <laughs> I am not a blonde. So um, I don't quite know who named this. And like you can see on the picture on the front here, that's a bit, a bit glossy. But, um, but yeah, um, it was a, I mean, there's sort of colors on the back here. To how it would sort of match um but yeah i just want to say that it worked really well for me obviously i don't know um what kind of hair you may have and what you're dyeing it from but um so, sort of from a blonde to a brown sometimes you need to tone it and um, whereas i didn't need to do that admittedly i had gone a little bit golden at the time but yeah it worked really well was it really easy to use and i would recommend it because so far it's sort of um held its color hold its hot is that that's a song hold your color is that pendulum 
I think it might be. Anyway, um, do I have any other favourites? Not really. Um, I just wanted to drop in and say hello, share a few of my current favourites with you. Um, I do plan on doing an October favourites and getting back to schedule programming. Um, sort of now that I'm back in uni, I sort of want to get into a little bit of a routine. Um, but I've got like a, I want to. Do put my Berlin video up. I went to Berlin um, at the end of September. So yes, there are a few things coming. We're back to schedule programming. Thank you so much for sticking with me and I shall see you soon. Bye.